boards. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Philly a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I think he had to blow that one before he got it, so he was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film, just be you. Enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with an INT. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, you and I, partner, we got the plum assignment this week, an unbeaten team against a one-loss team. Really, not much separating these two entering play here today. Not much at all, and I think for both coaches, they've looked at their team and said, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one, and you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big question of the day. Are we as good as we think we are? We're about to find out. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Against a team coming off a win, just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down.
So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. Gay's kick is good. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further. And you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. The Charger drive about to get going. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And he's missed now his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. They'll look to throw. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. 21 yards there on third down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and ten at the 41. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Brandon watching their tape from last week. I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Right, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his back up. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. And they'll send the tight end in motion. They go with Chubb on second down. And power running here down to the six-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. That sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And they're going to fake it. He wants 
to throw it here. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Lions' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Charger drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points. But then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. On second down, Swift. It's a room to maneuver. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. As we've seen, their first two drives didn't yield anything points-wise. Certainly feels like they think to themselves, it's time to open this thing up, taking the big shot downfield. They'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'm trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw out to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up Throw it downfield and see if maybe they can get a big play and a quick strike. On play action, they'll throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers, and the Lions will take over. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. From the 41, Fields. He's gonna look deep for Watkins. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run the option left. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Fields. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Chargers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. 
few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight, well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy. But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, tell all their teammates, Maybe I should shift over to offense. I got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They're going to try and throw. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From just shy of midfield, Fields. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. A two-yard It's fourth down. The slot man in motion right. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line of beauty. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. They go play action here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Wide open receiver complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. 
They'll look to throw again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Offense is moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out of stand before they're backed up even further. Back to throw again. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And this one is incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The third quarter starts with a run by Chubb. They find some open field here. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. After the touchdown, it's gay to kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once again, it's Swift. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. He'll look to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Touchdown! A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. And all it will be intercepted. Picked up by Legereo Sneed. Well, there's some excitement, right? Go for two, and instead it gets picked off. And how about the return? Give him a lot of credit, though, for not giving up after the play. Yeah, the troops rally. Exactly. And getting back there and making the tackle and not giving up two points themselves. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Up the middle, it's Chubb. 
And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Going out wide finds Chubb. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Now it's Fields. Uncorks one for Davis. And this is caught inside the five. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Gabriel Davis with touchdown number eight on the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Trying to lay one up deep. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. After allowing that last score, the defense knows they've got to tighten things up. Otherwise, they'll let them right back into the game. Brandon Staley telling his troops to stay out there and go for two. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Off play action, Fields. And that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The Lions on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Here's Fields. And get this to his tight end, it's Johnny Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. And Chubble trying the middle here. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. In motion left is Watkins. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. To throw his fields. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Gabriel Davis, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that will bump the lead up to 26. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And no fun to bring this one out. Charger drive about to get going. Well, they were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Back to throw now on second and ten. Well, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Out of the gun now on third down. Quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a first down, and that catch also puts him at 150 yards receiving now for the game. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll look to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. For Kidder here, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So this offense able to convert on fourth. For now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Again, he'll drop to throw. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, it would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And oh no, it's incomplete. That's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will take over. And they will take a knee here. And they take a knee. 